friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that is a little overdue. I have two beauty boxes here that are subscription boxes that I cannot wait to get into with you. One of them is a friend of the channel that we have seen before. This is an up and coming box called Chic Beauty Box. And this one over here is a brand new clean beauty box to the channel. I'm really excited to get into this. I'm pretty sure there is some good makeup in here from the brand Fablux. But I first, if you don't know where I'm at, if you're like, wait, girl, what happened? Your background is different. You seem a little like maybe the color's off a little bit. Check out my last video, even if you just kind of scrim through it a little bit, because I had a huge announcement that Adam and I bought a house. We're really excited about it. But right now I am kind of in this void because there's, well, on your end, because there's like nothing behind me at the moment and I still need to get some rugs. I'm actually just getting blinds now to install, so hopefully my audio maybe won't sound too echoey soon. Um, so I apologize if maybe the audio is not as crisp as it usually is, but it's because the space is bigger and I'm still moving in. There are boxes all over the place, but I definitely wanted to get into these beauty boxes with you because I have heard there's some really good stuff in here and maybe some questionable stuff because I have seen a couple other people's videos and we'll get there when we get there. So I'm really excited to go through this with you. Again, if you're confused as to what's going on and why I look different, check out my last video that I have linked for you and grab your tea, grab your snack, grab your coffee. This is actually coffee. It's not, I don't know, bourbon or anything like that. I can't hang like that. Get comfy because we are going to be going through some boxes together and putting it on my very bare face. Cheers. First, let's start with Chic Beauty. You guys have seen this brand before on my channel and we've slowly kind of seen how it is really increasing in value. And a lot of people in my last video we're like, well, with Chic Beauty Box, we're like, oh my gosh, this is really starting to like make me interested. Now this is an every other month box, but it is May and I think I did get this right as I was moving, but I can't remember if it was like end of April, beginning of May. So I'm not sure what month this is actually for. So let's start there. Ooh, I think I did peek into this, but I've totally forgotten because, you know, life. Oh, I'm right. Okay, so this is the... March, April, 2022 box. Now there are varieties in this box, kind of like BoxyCharm, but not like BoxyCharm because it's way less product to kind of like go out there. So it's very likely if you get this box, you could get at least some of these products. It's not gonna be like a totally different box. And I do like, oh my gosh, that they let you know what's going around. And there are some really good brands in here. We're talking, Marc Jacobs, we're talking Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kits, NARS, Laura Geller. This has high end, but it also has drugstore because I'm seeing there's also some L'Oreal and Rimmel in here. So these are the options that could be in the box. And I really have no memory of this. I think I opened it just to make sure nothing was broken. But yeah, let's get into what is the theme. It's just the March, April box, but it's it's mid-May. Sorry about that. But I do think this came to me pretty late. So let's see what we got going in. Chic Beauty Box breaking news. There's another little pamphlet in here. It says, we got a makeover. Okay, we love a makeover. Enjoy exclusive members only access add-on store. So they're going to be doing add-ons as well. Looks like they're probably kind of like learning from their predecessors, you know, like BoxyCharm out there. They knew that the add-ons, well, and Ipsy does this too, well, Ipsy Boxy Charm, they're one and the same now as we know, unfortunately. Uh, the add-ons are a big appeal with subscription boxes because you can get makeup for a deal and if you didn't get something that maybe you saw on the card but you want it, it's an option to get it from add-ons. They also have loyalty points. If you hear the pitter-patter of Cooper feet, it's because he hears me talking and he's trying to decide if there's other mommies in the room right now. So he loves mommies. If you were here right now in person, he would be in your lap. That's just who Cooper is, that's his soul. Oh, and then there is a code to get 15% off your first order. There you go, if you are interested. So let's dive into this box because I just saw a ton of cool stuff. Okay, first thing on top, this is a NARS Velvet Liner. Let's see what color it is. Okay, can I just say I'm happy it's not black? I Sometimes I just like variety and getting this, you know, black liner is such like a subscription staple that you're like, 
I'm good. I'm good. I'm good on that. Let's let's mix it up. Looks like this one is actually blue. It says this is blue lotus on the box. Unfortunately, NARS is not cruelty free, which stinks because this looks like it's a really pretty color, but I can absolutely pass this on to a friend who I think would love it, but I love seeing some good quality makeup in the box, yes? Yes, let's keep going. All right, I'm dying to know what this is. Okay, so, oh, this is Smashbox. Dang it, I was hoping for Marc Jacobs. There is an instant blurring powder that is going around in this box. Let me show it to you, it is right here. I have one of these in my purse. I got it from a TJ Maxx a long time ago and I love it. I still use it to this day. It is just the perfect instant blurring powder for setting your makeup or midday check-ins. I look kind of oily right now because I have on skincare, but we all know I am an oily skin girl. So if midway through the day, my makeup is starting to look too shiny or breaking apart, or I don't have any sunglasses in here at the moment, I get those sunglass nose lines right here. You know what I'm talking about. You use that powder and it just makes it all go away. It makes your makeup all look one. So I was really hoping to get that, but I didn't. So let's try, what is this? This is the Smashbox Halo Fresh Setting Perfecting Powder. Okay, I have not tried this before. According to Logical Harmony, they are cruelty free. I thought Smashbox was, but I couldn't remember. I honestly have not used much from Smashbox, at least not in a long time. And the shade is light medium. So we'll see today how this works. Let's get it out of the packaging. And I clearly look like I could use some powder right about now. Oh golly. They even give you a little sample of their photo finish foundation primer. I guess a little two for one action is always nice. Little brush in here. So we get that and the powder. So I just gotta take this out and then it's a loose powder to apply. I do like a loose powder. Um, I may use a different brush than this though, honestly, because this is nice for travel maybe, but it's gonna be um, a little, little, a little, little, you know what I mean? So we'll get to that, that's exciting. I am pretty stoked about that. Oh, looks like it's gonna be another blue liner, but again, unfortunately from a brand I do not use because they're not cruelty free. This is from Rimmel. Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 Liner to Shadow. Interesting, this sounds really cool. And it's in the shade Don't Be Shook, and I do love, like I said, a bold color. I kind of wish I could use this, dang. Okay, the next box is gonna be like a clean beauty box, so I'm hoping there's more in there that I can use. Let's see, there's two more things here in the Chic Beauty box though, and it looks like one of these other ones I'm not gonna be able to use because it's L'Oreal but it is their Glow Paradise Hydrating Balm and Lipstick. This looks like a little bit of a nude, but it does have some brown tone to it, which could be really pretty. So it's supposed to be like a liquid lipstick that sounds like it's a balm as well, so it's gonna be very moisturizing for your lips, which is really nice. It looks like it's got an embossment on the end. It's really pretty. L'Oreal Rimmel, do us all a favor, go cruelty free, and then I can feature some of your products on my channel. So moving on to Laura Geller that I do know is cruelty free. Filter first, luminous concealer. Oh girl, I already feel so luminous today. Do I need it? Not really. Is it gonna, are we gonna try it? Yeah, we are. This is the Laura Geller filter first luminous concealer pen. This will be fun to try, yes, and it's in the shade medium. I'm really excited to try these. Okay, let's see here, we've got the Smashbox and we've got the Laura Geller filter first. Unfortunately, the other products in here aren't cruelty free and I'm not gonna be able to try them, but I like that I'm getting some like makeup. This is all makeup. I just had an epiphany that this is all makeup. Um, this brand says that they're gonna be like just makeup and nothing else, but from time to, well, every other time, there's still a piece of skincare in there. But all of this is makeup. Thank you, Chic Beauty Box. Learning from, again, your predecessors to be like, oh, people are mad they're not getting enough makeup. And we said we're all makeup. Let's give them makeup. So that is super duper exciting. So pretty excited about these complexion products for sure to use. Now let's go, go into the Fab Lux. I'm going to give you a little bit of information. And I'm going to have 
discount codes for you and all kinds of stuff in my description box. Lux is a clean beauty brand committed to create skincare level cosmetics to everyone. No more cookie cutter, not bound by other people's aesthetics, create your own style in your own way and everything in their line is free of all of those things. Parabens, sulfates, all the flaha flaha words that I can't properly pronounce and I'm sorry. They're all cruelty free. Clean beauty formula without compromise list. It goes on and on. Oh, this is so cute. I just opened the box and I can just see I'm feeling good up here. So that's pretty exciting. Ooh, really quality packaging. The presentation, oh my gosh. You guys, the presentation is so adorable and so well done. Oh, oh, look how pretty this presentation is. What? My bad. I think I called this a beauty subscription in the beginning because I knew I had some subscriptions to go through with you, but this is their makeup line, which is super exciting. So you don't even have to be like on a subscription with them. You can just learn about their products and decide if you love them. I'm feeling good. Fab Lux lip plump and repair serum oh girl tell me more talk dirty to me i also think because their packaging is so pretty and the presentation is nice i just kind of thought that they were going to be a subscription box but i love that the presentation is gorgeous for purchasing their makeup here is the packaging for their lip plumper Ooh. So nice. Oh, they sent me three of them. So that's what all three of these are, is their lip serum. So I'm gonna have plenty to be able to try it and give you a deep, honest review on this in an upcoming video. Cause you know, when it comes to skincare, we wanna give ourselves some time with this. So I'm definitely gonna be putting this on. And today we are going to be trying their Essence Cream Foundation. Let's take a look at this. Since I didn't get any foundations in the other box, this is perfect to try. Ooh, so this is the Cell Glow Essence Cream Foundation. This is really pretty packaging, so I'm excited to see how this looks. Okay, so we are gonna be doing a full look today, and I'm going to be starting with this lip repair serum because I'm gonna take off just the normal stuff I have on so I can try this lip plump repair. Looks like this one is in the shade first date here. So I'm going to do a quick swatch because I'll bet you all of these are different colors. Let's see. So this one is like a sheery pink tone, which is going to be really nice for a natural look. This one here is in first kiss. First kiss. That's what I think of when I hear first kiss is my mom told me my first boyfriend was in preschool and that's when I had my first kiss because I kissed him. I was like, I kissed a boy. <sighs> Nicole. Ooh, this is a little bit richer. It's still going to be kind of um, translucent for your lips, but definitely this one has more of a pink tone that's really going to give you that pink pout. So that's nice. Then the last shade in here is First Sight. These names all just sound so romantic. I love that they're a stick too. Might be totally clear. Yeah, this one's totally sheer. You can also tell by the doe foot as well but it just applies totally clear. So the first one is like a pink tint, like a light pink tint, and then the next one has just a little bit more rosiness to it, so it'll really give you that flush lip look. Let's go with, let's see. So here's first kiss. Here's first date. So let me try first date. I already have some pigment to my lips just naturally, so sometimes I just like a little touch, and it feels really smooth going on. I like this applicator. I like that it's not just a squeezy tube. I like that there's an applicator. I've been trying to decide if there's a tingle or not. There's a very light, light, light tingle. I don't even feel like it's like I was assuming being a lip plumper, but it's also a repair serum. It almost has like a cooling effect to it versus a harsh tingling. This is a very subtle feeling. So I wonder if I even had something on my lips and put this on top if I'd even notice. I'll keep you posted how I feel about this, but so far, it feels pretty nice. I'm trying to figure out what I should do in what order. So I'm probably gonna do some swatching really quick. So I'm gonna pull out the Laura Geller First Filter Luminous Concealer here. Let's see, which side do I open? Ooh, this side. Ooh, this is what the head looks like. I'm just gonna twist it up, see how long this takes. 
sometimes these take forever with lips and stuff because like these components are always so fickle. Seriously? Nothing? I think I see some color coming through the puff at the top, maybe. Maybe. Oh gosh. I think I got something here. So let's go. Oh, that is really watery. That is like, it's like watercolors. Like remember when you were a kid and you had watercolors? That's how watery it is. Where it's like your water painting. That's what it is. Water painting. It's, it's dripping. Why is it? Why is it dripping down my arm? Thank goodness I have tissues in here. It's supposed to be watery? I need to shake, you know what? I'll bet you I was supposed to shake it. Did it say to shake it? Okay, first ingredient is water. So there is that. This says, powered by Illusmooth technology, this illuminating concealer blends away dark circles, spots, and dullness. The fingertip inspired applicator makes spot correction and blending effortless. To use, twist the bottom part of the pen until desired amount of product flows through the sponge. Dot, blend, and layer on desired. It doesn't say to shake it, but you know, I just had a waterfall go down my wrist. So let's see what happens now. Pull up more product. Ooh, why are you still so wet? This is really wet. I know it says water's the first ingredient. I'm worried it's gonna mess up the foundation. And since it's a new foundation for me too, maybe I should do this first because your girl does have some does have some dark circles under her eyes. Okay. Why is it so wet? Is it gonna stay wet every time I pump it up? Alright, let's see here. Feels wet. Okay. I'm not even gonna pull up more because there's Plenty on the applicator. You know, I do use a damp beauty sponge, so maybe this will help application. I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm not adding more product to the puff. I'm just going to layer it, see how it does, because I would like a little bit more coverage. I'm doing the triangles and I know that's not the trend at the moment, but with this very watered down product, ooh, maybe I need to. I just skimmed the edge of it here and look how much product just went on there. So it's just, it, there is product in there. It's not too watery. No, I'm gonna have to let you guys know how I feel about this in an upcoming video because I can't tell honestly at this moment. I do like to take my concealer up on my lids. This is supposed to be illuminating, keep in mind, so, alrighty, I'm going to give this just a moment here before I move on to the new foundation. There is something on here that says creamy and rich texture, silky and smooth, delicate and luxurious, it melts on your skin, light and breathable, quick drying and non-sticky after applying, give you a breathable complexion just like your second skin, which is obviously the kind of makeup we are loving right now. This is a Korean beauty brand. So I'm really, I'm really intrigued. I love so much of the skincare that I get from Korean beauty brands. So let's see how this works. And there is going to be a 20% discount code for you guys on all products from this brand in my description box. So let's just see here. Just out of curiosity on how this is going to. Okay, so just so you guys know, the concealer has dried on my wrist here and this is what it looks like. This feels pretty dry at the moment. So I'm gonna move on. Let's do just a little sample on a bit of my hand just to get an idea of what we're gonna be working with. Might be a little pale for me, but we'll see. I do have some powders that I'm going to be trying to, to help with the complexion side, but hmm. I'm looking on their website right now and they do have colors. They didn't ask me what color I wanted. So I need to kind of see here what this one is. Let's see. So this is going to be too pale for me. Unfortunately, I think it's blending pretty well. It's giving more coverage than I thought it would at first. Because when you hear something's got some great skincare in it, I'm not sure what color they sent me. That's what I keep trying to look for on the box and I don't see it yet. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna find it. It says it's got a breathable texture, which so far I totally agree with. 
I was just kind of wondering what other color I should look at because this is going to be a little too pale for me, but I'm definitely going to be able to warm it up with some powders, but it's going on really nicely and I'm not noticing um, any bunching. It is, I would say, a light to medium coverage because in person I can still absolutely see like my freckles and things like that. I'm kind of wishing this was a little bit darker though. So what I could do was layer it in a way that I think would make it just look like it's my skin but better because I think this totally has the ability to do that. But I'm definitely gonna have to put a powder over it because it is the wrong shade, unfortunately. But this is really going on nicely and smooth. This is an anti-aging foundation that creates a second skin effect. It's breathable and smooth is how they describe it and with buildable coverage. And you guys just saw me building it because I wanted to know if it could cover like more of my freckles, maybe some more of my imperfections in certain areas. And I am seeing that it does that. I'm just really putting her to the test. This is created with stem cell complex Arctic Vita to balance and make the skin healthier, re effectively reducing skin inflammation and improving the skin barrier. That's really cool. And I'm looking at it right now and you can buy three on their website to get 25% off, but this is $19.99. So it's not even like we're talking like it's crazy expensive. It's not like a $40 foundation. If you've tried this before, let a girl know, where do you find out your shade on the box? or on the packaging. They said how to apply it is use your fingertips or wet a marshmallow makeup sponge to clean the skin to build coverage around the face. It calls it extreme fit. Technology delivers a fine and smooth foundation that creates a perfect looking radiant natural finish. And I agree that this is very natural, very on par with what makeup is doing right now in the industry because everybody's kind of wanting more of that easy breezy look. Again, it is too pale for the rest of my body, obviously. Um, but that is, I'm very impressed with the formula, especially if you are leaning into more of that natural look, if you just like a little bit and go. So you know what I think I might do? All right, this may be a bad idea, but I'm gonna take a little bit more of this concealer just to try to warm this up a bit, because this is warmer from Laura Geller. I'm again, not pumping it up because it's still got plenty in the puff. See if I can get this warmed up just a touch and do a little bit of concealing. And then I'm gonna move on to that Smashbox powder, you guys. I wanna know, how is this powder? Individually, I think all of these are doing pretty well. So I really hope the whole final look comes together. And by the way, my lips are still feeling very hydrated. Maybe a little wet too, but not like slippery or anything. They're just very, um, they feel like they have a nice thin coat on them. A nice layer of luxuriousness. All right, so I think it's gonna be time for some powder, guys. Just washed a bunch of my brushes because I was in need. Here, I'm just gonna pull out one of my old faithful fluffy brushes that I've used a million times for powder. I love when a protectant wrap is easy to take off. You can even just kind of like put your brush in and already pick up product, which is pretty great because you don't want too much when you're trying with a new product, you know? Color, like I said, is light slash medium. I like to stipple when I'm trying a new powder at first because I don't want it, especially if I know it's got color to it, I don't want to overwhelm or drag on my skin. I tend to stipple more. With how this powder is pulling all of these different makeup pieces together. And it's always a gamble when I'm doing reviews like this to be trying multiple different things because if something goes wonky in the base parts of the makeup, you may not be able to figure out, was it the concealer, the foundation, the powder, what was it? So it's always a gamble, but when that's what you're given, so you're like, well, what, I gotta try it. When in Rome, you gotta get in it, right? So that's why I always try to do more wear tests for you guys and let you know in faves and fails videos what ended up really working when I've tried it in other ways with different products and multiple times versus a one trick pony when something may or may not have worked, you know? So always be sure to check out my phase and fails videos because even if you've seen me talk about a product, my thoughts could have changed and I usually present it in those videos because maybe it is a new fail 
or maybe it is a brand new fave and has replaced things because that has happened for me even this year. I have replaced some powders that I have used since the beginning of my channel to different styles and different products that are cheaper or a brand that's totally different that I would never have thought if it weren't for something that I'm doing in a review. Right now I'm just taking this powder because it is a bit warmer and doing what I would do with a bronzer and just kind of like, you know, giving myself a little natural cheekbone right here. Giving back what God forgot is what I call it when I'm giving myself that lift of a cheekbone. Maybe going around the perimeter of my face here. I also like to drag things on my neck a bit just for blending purposes. So this is our base makeup with all of the things that I have gotten to try from these boxes. Starting with the lip plumper from Fab Looks, I really think this has stayed really well, gave just a touch of color and something that's really easy to keep in my handbag, you know? The Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Concealer, a bit confusing. Um, it took me a little bit to get there. It was very, very watery, very, very watery. I'm going to keep trying this and letting you know and shaking it up from time to time. I got it under my eyes, put it under there. It dried down well. I then went into the Fab Looks Cella Glow Essence Cream Foundation. I do wish it was a bit darker, but it does go on to be a nice light to medium. You can build it up to be medium-ish, I would say ish, coverage, but it's still very breathable, very good for your skin with all of the great ingredients and taking out the things that you don't want on your skin. I then went back into the concealer just to kind of give it a little bit of warmth, maybe conceal a touch more. And then the Smashbox powder, the Halo Hydrating, hydrating in a powder. So, you know, you're always like, what, what does that mean? Perfecting powder. And I feel like that really brought everything together. So this is my base face to kind of start the day out. So unfortunately I can't try some of these other things that are not cruelty free in my box from Chic Beauty, but I have gotten a lot from Fab Looks that I'm going to keep trying. And again, hang out for some more honest user reviews long term as far as like my faves and fails go because I will be bringing up all of these again very soon I'm sure to let you know my thoughts but right now now that I have all of the base pieces on everything does look smooth everything does look even it looks like kind of like my skin but better because in person I can still see like I have a cluster of freckles that I think you can see right here underneath the eyes like it's still me it's not an overwhelming like cake makeup and I'm not really having a problem with being able to blend from neck to face because it is so subtle the light um the light touch of the foundation did make that a little bit harder so the powder was really nice at being able to bring it all back together but I'm really impressed with like the final look here if you're going for more of a light coverage look. I'm going to finish the makeup and give you some final thoughts and a little bit more information. Okay, it may start raining, so if it's getting darker, that is why. I have finished my makeup and I really think everything came together really nicely. I think I've definitely covered imperfections with like the foundation and I feel like I don't look too oily. And then I was kind of looking through a little bit more about this product and I forgot that this is actually stated to be good for oily skin, which is great because you know, your girl is oily and lives in a hot, humid climate. And I like that it gives enough coverage to really conceal things and freckles and just kind of make everything together in one. I may go back and see about getting a darker shade for summer. I'll bet this color is great for me kind of in the cooler months but now that it is May which is essentially summer here in Florida I am going to be needing a darker coverage but I think everything really came together nicely and I'm gonna put on just a little bit more of one of these with you. Let's see. Let's put on First Kiss. This is the only thing I've been wearing on my lips all day. And I think it feels really nice. It gives you that juicy pout and just a touch of color. So when you're kind of going for a more natural look, it's kind of everything you need. My lips look juicy. And I'm actually curious what this would be like maybe over the top of a liquid lipstick. I wanted to try it very natural on bare lips today, but I may try like that in the future. So I'm really excited to play with these some more as well, especially in summer when we're going for that more natural glossy look. I feel like both of these from Fab Looks will be great. And again, I have 
discounts for you. A 20% off discount code in my description box and links for you from Fab Looks. Please go check those out. I love a good clean beauty brand. I love when things are going to be good for my skin and aid in my oily skin journey because we know it's a thing. But also Chic Beauty, as much as I'm a little sad I couldn't try more of the products because they weren't cruelty free, they don't claim it's going to be. So that's not a you problem, that's a Nicole problem. But this Smashbox powder really brought everything together for me because the color was just a little off for foundation. So this brought it together and everything looks smooth. I haven't put on any other powders other than this and everything looks super nice. The concealer I am still impressed with, but I don't know about it. I'm still very confused as to how this whole thing worked. So definitely stay tuned, be subscribed. I'll give you more updates in the future because it, it, it concealed, everything looks fine, but it was so watery. I was a little confused by it. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more time. Again, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to be sure to follow up for all of these products and give you my deep dive thoughts in an upcoming faves and fails video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm pretty pleased with how my makeup has turned out today. It's a great summer vibe. Yes, natural, but put together. And if you happen to be new to my channel, hi new friends, I really hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on my upcoming reviews, deep dive honest impressions after giving these a longer wear. Bye friends. Ha <laughs> ha